Good afternoon and welcome to today's episode of Does Anybody Have Any Spare Bubble Bath? I am Will, your man who's raving about bathing. Um, I, somebody said that would be a good tagline. Uh, as you noticed, another different hairstyle today. Another one today. Uh, pretty proud of that one. And also not a t-shirt. I'm going for a shirt look, a very open shirt. Um, so yeah, let's know your opinions on that one. Okay, I actually um, for once don't have an apology to make today. I had a pretty quiet one last night, went to my sister's uh, daughter's 21st birthday, uh, or my niece's 21st birthday, as you normal people would refer to it. Um, as I said, pretty quiet night, ended up staying there, slept on the sofa, well, a futon thing on the floor, and uh, yeah, came back this morning. Um, so yeah, really good night last night, and um, I was feeling a bit groggy this morning, that's why I haven't made a video to today. I've just come back from football. Uh, well, I came back from football a little while ago. Oh, I've just had a bath. So, uh, in, in, in answer to the question, does anybody have any spare bubble bath? Um, I've got a little bit spare if anybody needs any. So, uh, just let me know, really. Um, yeah, as I said, I came back from football today. Lost 5-2. First loss in five games, uh, which was, was upsetting. And I didn't score, which was also upsetting. But, you know, it was, it was a hard-fought game, and uh, unfortunately we didn't win it. Uh, I am drinking tonight. Uh, I, 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 I other... Alcoholic beverages are available, but Fosters do pay our budgetary fees, so we've got to um, advertise them just a little bit. Oh, that's refreshing. They can pay me for that later. Right, so, where are we going to go with this? Well, um, in political news, uh, I'd like to say that uh, we have made an impact and a statement all the way across the channel. That's correct. Uh, Frank Holland, the uh, President of France has come out and he's decided to dedicate himself to uh, improving safety on the French rail network. Now, all I can put that down to is the slander that I banded about about the French rail network in my last but one uh, conversation. Nobody really gave me any feedback on the format for last week, the two-man team. Uh, personally, I don't think it worked that well. Um, Callum, one of my subscribers. Oh, we've got another subscriber, by the way. Robin, thank you. Not Robin, sorry. Hannah. Robin's already a subscriber. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me and more. Um, so thank you very much, Hannah. Um, yeah, as I said, we've got uh, another subscriber. But the yeah, the the um, yeah, Callum obviously gave us some bad feedback about the about the Darren issue. Uh, he claims he's quite fat, which uh, Darren was actually quite upset about. Um, I had to wipe his tears off his fat little face, and um, yeah, I don't think he, he enjoyed that one. So, uh, Darren, if anyone sees Darren out on the street, because obviously you all now know what Darren looks like, so if you see Darren out on the street, just give him a hug. He needs a hug. He's also single, so girls, you know I'm single, he's single, we're not gay, so we can't be together, we can't solve each other's issues, but girls, you're out there. You all, you know, if you're single, if you're not single, we don't care in the sheets, you know, this is my bedroom and there's obviously an open invitation to you ladies, provided your reasonable attractiveness and of an appropriate age, to come and join me in here at the moment. Um, so yeah, right, what was the next thing? So obviously, yeah, the, the French brought out a statement that was, um, I was pretty happy with that. I'm glad I had uh, such an impact, you know, you can just imagine him standing there in the, um, in the press, well, in, in a closed meeting talking to his, his advisors and he'll be like, uh, oh no. What is going on? You know, there is this English man and he has the best show on the internet. And he is talking about about our policies and our lack of, uh, how can I say this, uh, commitment to the cause. The cause, you know, so uh, he's noticed that rather than saving people's lives, we will sleep with the beautiful women and drink the wine, no? So yeah, um, he, he realised the issue there and he's perfectly happy to accept responsibility for that. So um, yeah, obviously in sports news we beat the Australians in the cricket today. Um, well, yesterday We beat them at some point in the cricket. Uh, don't really get cricket, <coughs> if I'm being completely honest. It's too protracted a game for me. My attention spans to, um, on to J.K. Rowling. Um, J.K. Rowling, have you heard about this? She's going to now be a crime writer. She's done with writing Wizardry Tales, and her, her first, her first, um, obviously her first story is going to be Harry Potter and the Case of the Serial Rapist. Uh, I, I, oh, it's not my fault. I didn't come up with the title. She did. Um, I'm lying. I did come up with that title. I'm sorry. I, I, I think I may be a compulsive liar. Uh, I'm really sorry about that, obviously. Um, 
But yeah, moving on from that, bloody hell, I've only got five minutes. It's going to be a short one today, by the way, guys, so I've got to get down the pub in a bit. So, uh, right, is anyone reading the news? Uh, there's a deadly cat virus. Yeah, apparently there's a virus that's used to just make cats a bit sick, and now it kills them. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but who the fuck cares? Who gives a crap if a cat dies? It's a bloody cat. Go out and buy a new one. I'm sorry, right? I know a lot of you are animal lovers, and it's going to be a divisive issue, and I'm probably going to lose three of my five fans over this, but seriously, it's an animal. It... <sighs> People even tell me that cats have got personalities. I've got this friend, right, and her name's Jane, and she's got uh, 17 cats. No, no word of a lie, 17 cats. I said to her, Jane, your house stinks of cat. And she says, oh, they've all got such good personalities. I said, people have got good personalities. They can bloody wash themselves. What are you playing at? She said, oh, well, they never abandoned me. I said, people don't abandon you either. You don't treat them like shit. Oh, but they're so loyal. No, no, cats aren't loyal. I'm sorry, if I really waved a load of sardines in front of one of our cats, they'd come running off to me. They wouldn't give a shit about her. Cats are the most unloyal, sanctimonious, stuck-up little balls of fur with four legs in the world. I'm sorry. I hate cats. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just hate them. I, the only thing cats are good for is a number 42 down by local Chinese. That's what I'm saying. Um, incidentally, you'd probably be alright if you had a cat, because in the news today, everything gives you cancer. Did you know that? Uh, they've come out today and they've said that sweet snacks have been linked to bowel cancer. Now, when I read that report, I thought, right, what else? What else gives you cancer? Beyond the obvious lung cancer, liver cancer, heart cancer, blood cancer, skin cancer, uh, gum cancer from smoking, you obviously get liver cancer, uh, blood cancer from alcohol. Uh, now, you can get cancer from microwave popcorn, white powder, sugar, apples, salmon, any hydrogenated oil, chips, fizzy drinks, and canned tomatoes are just nine things, nine examples of cancer-giving foods. So basically, if you started off with, you know, a bread course, and then you had, like, you know, a bit of salmon and chips, a glass of Coke with it, with a, with a you know, a couple of tin tomatoes on the side of it, and for dinner you had, like, an apple pie, um, obviously with sugar on the top, and some popcorn on the side, You'd be fucked. You'd be dead. You would get cancer and die straight away. Apparently, if you eat anything in the world, there is definitely a link to cancer about it. Don't drink fizzy drinks. Don't drink non-fizzy drinks. Diet drinks are bad for you. Non-diet drinks give you cancer. You know, it's every. I think people should just accept that statistically, a lot of us are going to get cancer. I don't know the exact numbers. I couldn't be bothered to look it up, if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, cancer is a real issue. And uh, I know a lot of people suffer from cancer. But I think... The press, they do do a lot of scaremongering, and um, I don't, I don't quite understand why, why they have to go to such extreme um, measures on this. Uh, I understand that today is going to be a short one, and I'm really sorry. I promise I will do a full length one tomorrow, but I do just want to um, draw to a close about two things. Finally, uh, or second to finally rather, they've released a special nappy for babies. Has anyone heard about this? It's a special nappy. And it's got, uh, you know those Android markets that you scan on your Blackberry and stuff like that, those barcodes, the uh, quick response codes? Uh, it's got that in it. And um, if, you, if you scan your baby's nappy once you've taken it off of him and it's pissed in it, you scan that and it will tell you if it's got any urinary disease. Why? Why does this matter? I've never heard, known anyone to die of a urinary disease. And to be honest, you take a baby to the doctors every two, three months, they're going to realise straight away. In fact, when the baby's born, you take it to the doctors all the time. You're going to realise straight away if there's anything actually wrong with your baby. Why do you need a bloody barcode on a pair of nappies to tell you that it's got a urinary disease? So what? It's another pointless invention. It's a waste of human intelligence. And to be fair, I'm fed up a little. The final closing statement, obviously, is about BBC proms. And I don't know if anyone's seen the BBC problems. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to mention, for the nappies, there is a downloadable app for scanning your baby's piss-stained nappies. Um, so if you are into scanning piss-stained nappies, or even looking at pictures of piss-stained nappies, please Google piss-stained nappy scanning app, and you'll be, you'll be the happiest man in the world. Um, obviously, BBC is open in the Doctor Who version of their problems. Uh, again, I was terribly upset that I wasn't invited to play the Doctor. Uh, and if BBC directors, uh, directors are watching this, please consider me for the next Doctor Who. Uh, I think I'd be fantastic for the job. 
And, um, yeah, that was it. Oh, on a closing statement, I did have a bath today, which was fantastic. Uh, obviously, I lost five to the football, which was terribly upsetting. And uh, finally, obviously, is a short mention of I've managed to go yet another day without pissing all over my clothes. So I think, generally, we can take today to be a win. And um, I don't owe any apologies today, which is brilliant. Wait, I apologise to the um, Hampshire Constabulary. I was out the other night with a friend who will remain nameless. He shat in a bin, like an actual bin, in a park, and I may have slightly lied to them and convinced them that he didn't do it. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, or oh, this may be completely fictitious. You'll never know. Uh, so I am sorry about that, and or am I? And, um, yeah, just uh, wanted to say, look, guys, stay safe. Don't eat anything because you'll get cancer. And uh, if you're going to drink anything, drink Foster's. Roo -roo. Mm. By the way, um, shirt and shorts. I don't know if it works, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, yeah, I'm back at work tomorrow as well, which is going to be brutal. I haven't been at work since I've been ill. I'm feeling a lot better. Is anyone there that's not feeling a lot better? Um, no, no attractive coughing. Uh, I think today's episode was slightly better than yesterday's. I am actually missing Darren's arse imprint on my bed, if I'm being honest. He did most of break one of the slats with his ginormous backside, but, you know, we live and we learn. So listen, um, have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and uh, girls, seriously, you know, open offer, I've got protection, you know how it is. Right, um, great times guys, if you enjoy it, if you like watching it, uh, please, please, please subscribe. And also a massive thank you to Robin for everything that she's uh, had to endure as the butt of certain jokes. And also massive thank you to Hannah for speaking to her friend for me. Uh, I really do appreciate that. I will have more to say about that next week or tomorrow, shall I say. That should be later than tomorrow. Probably about Wednesday, Thursday time. Anyway, I'm dragging this out a bit long. So listen, guys, uh, have a great day and uh, stay classy wherever you are. Oh, if there's anyone from India watching, I don't speak any Indian, but I wish I did. So uh, if you can comment entirely in Indian, I can try and decide for that. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.